An Austin company is about to start testing a Zika vaccine. Tecton Research is looking for volunteers for its clinical trial. Zika is still a concern in the U.S. Texas health officials confirmed two people in Williamson County were infected after traveling a few weeks ago. So KXAN's Eugen Cho takes us inside the lab to explain how this trial will work. This vaccine could protect you from Zika, a virus transmitted through mosquito bites that can cause birth defects. Seeing that I think breaks the heart of every parent. But first, they have to go through a clinical trial, a years long process. We're probably looking at five to ten years out. That requires hundreds of volunteers. Good. They'll be paid to get the shot and undergo a series of blood tests. It's kind of a win-win, I look at it. <laughs> Zika risk is higher in places like Central and South America, Africa, and Southeast Asia. Those areas I've, I've wanted to go to and plan on traveling more to, to the tropical areas. But Texas being so close to Central America. It's coming, and it's only a matter of time before citizens in the U.S. are going to be subject to these same vectors. Mosquitoes don't fly far. They have a very small flight range usually about 300 feet. But a mosquito in our area can become a Zika-carrying mosquito if it bites someone here who contracted the virus while traveling. Texas health officials believe Zika continues to be a threat, especially in the southern part of the state. Volunteers say the vaccine will give them a peace of mind. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. Tecton Research says the vaccine being tested will also protect against dengue and yellow fever. They say some volunteers may experience redness or soreness in the arm after getting the vaccine. As far as side effects, they say they typically do not see a lot associated with vaccine trials. Last year, there were 54 cases of Zika reported in Texas. Austin Public Health says they started testing mosquitoes last week, but they do not just test for the Zika virus. They also test for chikungunya, dengue, and West Nile and yellow fever. Last year, one pool of mosquitoes tested positive for West Nile in Austin. And there are more mosquitoes in Austin than most cities across the country. Orkin released its list of the top 50 cities in Austin ranked number 20 this year. That's up 17 spots from last year. The only Texas cities that ranked higher were Dallas and Houston. Dallas came in at number two. And in case you're wondering, Atlanta and New York helped Dallas round out the top three. So far this year, the CDC says no one has gotten the Zika virus from inside the continental U.S., but there are several countries where Zika is a risk. Here's a look at the areas in dark purple showing places where there is a risk of infection, the areas in light purple showing areas where the risk is lower, and those in gray, like the United States, are areas with no known risk of the infection.